Assalamu uh, alaikum, dear students. This is Shamshad Ali, Department of Technology, Surat Pishara. Today we are going to learn about the environment and environmental management. Today is, is our first lecture of week first in the course Environmental Management for BSc Engineering Technology, SIP. You can access the this lecture at portal.su.edu.pk. So let's begin. Okay. Basically, these are two different terminologies in a sense environment and management. First, we will explain it separately. Environment. The surroundings are conditions in which a person, plants, and animal live or operate. Okay. It means that we are living things which may be plants, animals, live. So, the surrounding is called its environment, simply. Here we have a highlighted word, operate, which means the environment of a working machine, for example, of a working machine, uh, a grinding mill, stone crushing machine, definitely its environment will be hazardous environment. Or the surrounding area has hazards. Okay. The nature the world, the nature world is a whole or in a particular geographical area, especially is affected by human activity. Human activity like transportation, manufacturing, uh, daily routine work has a key role in the degradation of environment. In short, environment is the surrounding in which we live. Basically a short definition. Now next terminology is management. The process of dealing with or controlling things or people. The act or art of managing, conducting or supervising a something okay management is the is to control conduct or supervising something or people or we can say in another sense to bring something or people in a streamline by implementing plans now disciplines of environmental studies. You all may be familiar with these terminologies, but here you will learn more about uh, environmental science. It deals with the scientific study of environment, for example, air, water, soil, and land. To conduct scientific evidence or study of environment. So this is basically called the environmental science, study related with the environmental science. Now environmental engineering. It deals with the study of technical processes involved in the protection of environment from potentially harmful effects of human activities. Simply we can say that protecting environment technically from potentially uh, potentially harmful effects which may be generated from human activity. For example, to study different methods or processes on how to recycle waste to purify water and how to clean the toxic air. Okay. Now environmental management. Basically our subject. Environmental management promotes 
during order physical social and economical and sorry and economic environment of the enterprise or project it encourages planned investment in the start rather than force investment at the end environmental manager seeks to invest at the beginning of a project that how to control or manage environmental issues during the project or before the project they always discourage investment at the end of the project okay environmental management our survival in this planet earth is dependent on the proper management of environment it is a natural truth that living things need clean air water for survival So it is clear that proper management of the environment is the key plan to survive on this earth. All living beings are interdependent, directly or indirectly. As we all know that livings are interdependent on each other. For example, we eat meat and vegetables, which comes from animals and plants, and they get their own food from Side, or the animal get their food from the plants, and plants get their food from the side. So this is basically the interdependence. The survival of trees and forests will bring in good rainfall and good agriculture. As we all know, that forests have an important role in life. Due to forest, rainfall can bring us good agriculture. The climate condition depends on air temperature, more presence of carbon dioxide, a resulting global warming, ozone layer depletion, and acid rain. Condition of climate vary from time to time due to air temperature. Carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide emits from manufacturing process can cause acid rain, which is more harmful. Global warming, resulting melting of glaciers, and so causes storms, and also ozone layer depletion due to enormous increase in population and stress on environmental factors like air, water, and soil. It is now urgently needed to frame guidelines and rules for managing environment in a proper way. Nowadays, rapid growth in population and enormous increase in pollutants is an alarming threat for environment. And it should need strict rules and guidelines to Manage environment. A good management of environment can only bring a sustainable life to all in this planet. Mean to uh, manage our environmental issues, we can bring good management. Okay, now we come to the uh, next topic, which is scope scope of environmental management awareness regarding environment and their proper management began in 1970s in many countries of the world through various movements like greenpeace movement chipko etc since 1970s many countries wish to aware people regarding environment issues environmental issues in resolving these issues, advancement in the field of science and technology help to properly solve environmental problems and help in its management. As explained in the previous slide, that resolving environmental issues to technical advancement can help to manage environment, environmental issues or environment properly. Okay, the revolution in the field of computer 
advanced instruments and soil, water, and air testing procedure or any means to utilize in the field of environmental management. The rapid growth in the population along with the rapid industrialization has put much stress on environmental factors like air, water, and soil. Many forest areas have given way to establish factories. Now this is the main point. Rainforest demolition and establishment of industry put a gigantic stress on environment. As we all know and as we all are familiar with such things. Okay. The pollution from such factories is not limited to a particular place. It can spread over a large area and can cause disease in that particular area. Need of environmental management in the following areas. Okay. Population increase in health services. The main cause of uh, environmental issues is increase in population. We all know that the population of the world increasing rapidly. Population growth results lack of health services. So proper environmental limits need in these both areas, both in the population, increase in the health services. The next portion is uh, treatment of pollutants. Pollution is being created every day. Solid waste come from the factories, from the home, etc. Which is the most important areas here we have today. Air quality data which I have uploaded from internet source, uh, which has been in the next slide. We'll come back to this slide. But first, we have to discuss this. Okay. As we are um, seeing this, that these are basically some colors made up of the world. So this is today's data, which I have collected from the internet source. Okay, as mentioned below, the greenish color shows good quality of air in the spotted area. These are basically the air, the air condition is good okay these are basically the places where the air condition is good air rewards air pollution real time air quality index okay uh, the yellow shows moderate our country lies in basically here is our country Pakistan which lies in the moderate values the next uh, the orange color shows unhealthy for certain sensitive groups and so on this dark pink color shows unhealthy okay this is very unhealthy and this is hazardous these are basically the hazardous points okay so going back to the slide Treatment of pollution as we have discussed. Okay, development of non polluting renewable energy sources like wind, solar, biomass, etc. Okay, so using renewable energy like wind, solar, which is nowadays used to generate electricity and to, to run the tube wells for the irrigation purposes, etc. Biomass, uh, 
gas generation from the cow or buffalo dung uh, used for the cooking purpose. Okay, solid waste utilization through recycling. A lot of solid waste is generated on a daily basis uh, in all over the world. In your uh, village, in our village, in our country, in America, in Africa, solid waste are generated in tons. So this area also need uh, environmental management, biodiversity conservation, genetic makeup, environmental awareness in society. Uh, this is the most important thing to aware people about environmental management. to campaign uh, awareness programs uh, regarding the solid waste uh, management okay these are the areas which need environmental management so that is it for today in next class uh, inshallah we will learn about environmental legislation we will learn about environmental legislation in the next lab. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any question, please give it on your suit photo. Take care.